So to help you understand exactly how this piston works, you can see that the water is coming in this way. Now with the water coming in this way, all we have to do is move this little lever right here. That's our relief valve on this thing. There's a spring inside here. And when I do this, I release all the pressure on this top chamber. That means that this piston is actually going to rise up and allow for all that water to dump right underneath it. Because as you can see, there's very little to restrict it. Now while it's doing that, you can see that I've got this little filter here. That little filter is actually keeping uh, some of the grit and grime from entering the top here. But it's going through there because now that thing is reseated. With it reseated, all of that extra water pressure is going to the top. And as it's building, it's building, building, building. And it's going to build enough pressure to reseat down here because there is more surface area. Not to mention it will be a little bit heavier. So that is your piston type direct flush valve. And then over here is your diaphragm type flush valve. Now it works on the same principle. You can see that I've got this bypass right here. Okay, and that's built right into the diaphragm. Up on top, there's a larger surface area. It's pretty easy to see in this type. However, again, all I gotta do is, is move that center relief valve and all of the pressure dumps up from the top down. With all that, the pressure, the water pressure coming in here will raise that diaphragm up and you can see that the, that the water can now escape and go straight down into the water closet urinal, um, bedpan washer, what have you. And at the same time, it's going to be filtering through this hole to fill up this top chamber. And as that chamber fills up, it's going to again reseat as soon as it equalizes on pressure. The pressure from here equal to that, but there's more surface area on the top. And that's how the flush valve works.